So you've received your copy of the reserve study from Miller Dodson Associates. First thing you should do with this is review it very carefully, read it thoroughly, and get back to us with any questions, comments, suggestions that you have. Remember, in the end, we want this report to mirror what you all are hoping to accomplish in terms of your goals and objectives, not what Miller Dodson is saying that you need to accomplish. So one of the first things to do is to take a look at the inventory pages, make sure that what is contained on those pages are components that actually belong to the association, don't belong to the local municipality, or aren't responsibility of the, uh, the homeowners instead of the association. Also make sure that everything is included, make sure that nothing's been left out. Uh, then look at the calendar pages in the report and make sure that the timing of when we have these replacements actually meets with what the association is hoping to accomplish. Make a list of questions, of comments, of suggestions that you may have that will help hone the accuracy of the report. Let me give you an example. We recently worked with a community that was a very beautiful gated community that had about a 100-yard approach up to the main gatehouse. Unfortunately, this 100-yard approach was used by a lot of commercial vehicles as a turnaround, and consequently the damage and deterioration that was shown on the asphalt was pretty considerable. When we did the report, we made the suggestion that if they patched and seal coated uh, and sealed the asphalt, that they could make it last another five or six years until the rest of the roads were ready to be replaced. After reviewing the report, the community came back to us and said, well, we understand your suggestion, but we feel pretty strongly that this is the first thing that people see when they approach our community. And we want literally for the curb appeal to be at its highest quality. Therefore, even though it's going to be a little bit more expensive because it's a smaller section of asphalt, we want to go ahead and get this section done now and have the rest of the asphalt done whenever it comes due. That's a prime example of the community coming back to us and giving us directives on what their goals and objectives are so that the report mirrors what they're hoping to accomplish, not just what Miller Dodson tells them they should be doing.